Israel has summoned Australia's ambassador after Canberra reversed its decision to recognize West Jerusalem as the Israeli capital. The Australian foreign minister says the city's status must be decided through peace talks between Israelis and Palestinians. Australia initially made the recognition under former Prime Minister Scott Morrison in 2018. We will not waver in our support uh, of both Israel and the Jewish community in Australia. We are equally unwavering in our support of the Palestinian people, uh, including in the provision of humanitarian support. I would say that Mr Morrison's decision to play politics, and it was no more than that because, of course, we all know where the embassy remained, uh, resulted in Australia's shifting position. I know that this has caused conflict and distress and concern in parts of the Australian community, uh, and today the government seeks to resolve that. Sarah Clark is in Brisbane with more. Well, this was an election promise uh, that was made by the opposition during the election campaign. Of course, uh, the federal government now, the newly elected Anthony Albanese government, has confirmed uh, that the government would no longer recognise uh, West Jerusalem as the Israeli capital. Now, on Monday evening, interestingly enough, uh, the foreign minister, Penny Wong, was denying uh, this was the case, and that was simply because it was ahead of the cabinet meeting, which happened on Tuesday. Cabinet has now given it the all clear. Now, in a press conference uh, in Australia, the foreign minister, Penny Wong, said that Australia is committed to a two-state solution in which Israel and a future Palestinian state uh, would coexist. She said this will be done in peace uh, and security and with internationally recognised borders. Um, she also noted, and having a, a bit of a hit at the, the former government, and in particular the former Prime Minister Scott Morrison, that they would not support his position or any approach uh, that undermined their current policy. So in the press conference, uh, she also noted that the final status of the capital should not be determined until the peace negotiations uh, with the Palestinians were finalised. Uh, Penny Wong was also quick to clarify and uh, note her support uh, for the Israel and the Jewish community. Uh, she said that they have the government uh, under Anthony Albanese has equally unwavering supporters um, of the Palestinian people. Uh, Wong described the decision by Scott Morrison uh, back in 2018 as cynical, risky and a, and a political decision, uh, one to try and win over voters in a key um, seat, a key blue ribbon seat known as Wentworth, um, ahead of last year's election. Now, I should also note that uh, Malaysia was highly critical uh, of Scott Morrison's decision at the time. Back in 2018, he described it uh, as a humiliation of the Palestinian people uh, and their quest for a homeland. But of course, and not surprisingly, uh, Donald Trump, uh, he applauded it and said it's a step in the right direction and a recognition of reality. So we can confirm in Australia now, uh, after a cabinet meeting, uh, not a surprise, but the reversal of a decision made by the previous government, uh, that the federal government would no longer recognise West Jerusalem uh, as the Israeli capital. And live now to West Jerusalem and Bernard Smith. Bernard, the Israeli is not happy at all with this Australian decision. No, Foley, they're not. The Australia, uh, Israel's foreign minister has voiced its deep disappointment over the decision. And Prime Minister Yair Lapid, who's running for uh, re-election in the beginning of November, he says he can only hope the Australian government matters uh, manages other matters more seriously and professionally relating to the manner in which this announcement by the Australians were made. Now, the Israelis have summoned the Australian ambassador, but he'll have to drive all the way from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem because while Australia recognised West Jerusalem as uh, West, recognised Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, they never actually physically moved their embassy like almost every other country. Their embassy building and administration is in Tel Aviv. It's only the US embassy that's here in Israel after Donald Trump recognised Jerusalem in 2018 and also Honduras and Guatemala. So practically little changes, but of course it's all in the symbolism. Uh, other countries, most countries, recognise that the status, the final status of Jerusalem is to be determined in talks on Palestinian statehood and the Palestinians want East Jerusalem as mm. their capital. It's where most of the Christian, Muslim and Jewish holy sites happen to be as well. But they want the final status of Jerusalem up for negotiation. And what's been the Palestinian reaction? Well, the Palestinian foreign minister, Riyad al-Maliki, the Palestinian Authority's foreign minister, he's called this a, a correction of a mistake made by a previous government. And he now also wants Australia to go on and recognise 
the Palestinian state. He says if Australia is interested in a two-state solution, then recognise us as an independent state, as other countries have done. The Palestinians, while there's been no realistic talks on Palestinian statehood since about 2014, when the last lot of US brokered uh, talks ended up, they still hold out and recognise and want East Jerusalem as their future capital. Practically, these are two, this Jerusalem is divided between the Palestinian East and the Jewish West. Both sides, you rarely see but one crossing from one side to the other. So this remains a divided city, and the Palestinians want that eastern side as their future capital. Thank you for that. Bernard Smith live there in West Jerusalem.